Hi guys, got an interesting matchup for you today. Got my OnePlus One with its 801 Snapdragon chipset, 2.5 gigahertz Crate 400 and 3 gig of RAM against the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 with the 805 chipset, 2.7 gigahertz Crate 400 CPU, 3 gig of RAM. But the big kicker here being the OnePlus One is only 270 pounds against the Note 4, 600 pounds. Um, so it should be an interesting matchup. They're both very similar size of device. The Note 4 slightly bigger, slightly heavier, slightly bigger screen. Uh, we'll kick things off as usual with my reboot test. Now I'm speeding the footage up here by three times because you don't really want to sit and watch them reboot, but it gives me a little bit of a chance to talk about them. Um, I've had the Note for what a month or so and the OnePlus One for four or five days. So they're both quite new devices. Um, you can see here the Note 4 has quite easily won the reboot test. We're back to normal speed. Um, but the OnePlus One, not far behind. And obviously I realize reboot speed or reboot time isn't a massively important. It's just a bit of an indicator on the power of the machine, as is the Angry Birds opening test. So the OnePlus One edges out in front, and it looks like it wins the first one. We will give it one more run. I normally do a best of three for the uh, Angry Birds opening test. So yeah, it's not about, well, my, my app opens 0 0.05 seconds quicker than yours. It's, again, it's just we're looking for indicators of the power of the machine. So when it does actually get stressed, that's when the uh, the real differences come through. Um, and yet the OnePlus One actually wins the Angry Birds opening test. So that's uh, pretty good for the, the what's effectively a budget device. We're going to move on into the benchmarking test. Now, I know a lot of people don't like Samsung because they, they apparently cheat when it comes to benchmarking. Um, now, I suppose it depends exactly how they cheat. I don't think they overclock. I think they just throw all the power out of the processor and, you know, they basically say, right, we're going to get everything, we're going to squeeze every last thing out of it, which that, isn't that what you want to happen when it's being stressed? Shouldn't all devices do that? So I cut out the middle bit. You don't want to watch the whole thing. And here we are with the Note 4's result, the Oppo, I call it the Oppo because it's OPO one plus one. Um, the Oppo trailing a bit behind. The Note 4 benchmarks like nothing else I've seen. I don't think I've seen anything else score over 3,000 on the quad core score. Now, interestingly, the single core, the Oppo is not that far behind. We just get to just check the sort of specs here. But on the multi-core, multi, multi -core, that's, that's actually quite a poor score. Um, Anyway, we'll talk a little bit more about performance and shortly. We're going to move outside now for the GPS test. So as usual, I let them both lock on. Then I reset the AGPS state, come out of the app. And I do find that sometimes I had to press the back button twice on the Oppo. It's not quite as responsive as the Note 4. Then we go back into the app. And again, now I'm going to speed this up by... Uh, by a times of three, because I was actually surprised how long it took both of them. That I'm sure I've used their GPSs before. You know, I use them both for sat nav and uh, car navigation, no problems at all. So I was a bit surprised how long it took. We came back into regular speed just in time for the Oppo, just to slightly sneak ahead of the Note 4. I don't know if you saw that. In fact, I might have brought it back out fast a bit, a bit too late. But the the Oppo did just sneak through. But to be honest, when they're both taking 50 seconds. If the Oppo takes 50 seconds, the Note 4 takes 52. They're basically both a bit bad in that test, actually. Like I say, that's unusual. I was surprised it took that long. I don't know what that might have been. Anyway, we're going to come back inside now to do the speaker test. Just check the uh, Oppo is up to full volume here. Yeah, here you go. Oh, no, nah, he, he over here. Yeah. Yo, my check, my check. check. The Note 4's volume. Yeah, here you go. Oh, Bit nah, of Will Smith he, he helping us here. out here. I did my actual uh, speaker test yesterday. You can see a separate video for the one plus one. I have to say, we're very impressed with how loud it is. The only device really that's uh, better than it, I think, is the Moto G. It's a shame I sold my Note 3 a week ago. Actually, I should have kept it. If I knew the Oppo speaker would have been a challenger. Because the Note 3 speak was very good, better than the Note 4, I believe. He gave nothing to the Cleveland Browns. They led, I think, 3 nothing at the um, half time. He gave nothing to the Cleveland Browns. They led, I think, 3 nothing. would have been good uh, to test uh, it too. Uh, Sorry, I keep stopping break, so you can actually hear, he <laughs> hear the devices. Get that offense firing at all, despite how well. So, uh, I think without doubt for me, the Oppo all, has a better well speaker, louder, well. clearer. Quite well rounded, actually, for uh, a small, small phone. 
Now we're moving on to the browser test. Um, as usual, I'm clearing all data from both devices. The Note 4 took quite a bit longer because the Note 4 I've been using for a month or so. The Oppo only, for, as I said, for the last few days. We're going to start off going to the BBC website. And what we see here is actually the Oppo edges out of the Note 4 again, which I think is very interesting because as we saw in the benchmarking, the Oppo wasn't really anywhere near it. But in the other tests that we've run, so, well, reboot test aside, which is perhaps more to do with CyanogenMod and Samsung's ROM, you would have thought CyanogenMod would be much leaner and quicker, but um, Angry Birds opening and browser test, actually the Oppo has been quicker than the Note 4. Um, you might argue that, yeah, CyanogenMod is a is a stripped down version of Android you would expect it to be lean and mean and, and fast moving and maybe Samsung they're a bit slower getting updates out and that actually it will in, it will improve uh, in the next few months when they release patches and upgrades but uh, there's no denying the Oppo very very slick very quick and again if I just I mean obviously I mentioned it at the beginning but 270 pounds against a 600 pound device um, I will, I think, hopefully run the same test against the Nexus 5 because although the Oppo and the Note 4 are sort of likewise, again, the Oppo edging ahead there, I would suggest. Although these two are similar size, they're not in a similar budget. So, yeah, if you're looking for a big phone, you might compare these two and then you may pick the Oppo because of the budget. But if you're um, defined by the budget rather than the phone size, then actually the Nexus 5 might be the this sort of uh, opposition to the Oppo. So, as I said, OnePlus One, I think, performed very well, you would probably say, was the winner in all those testings. Um, and for less than half the price of the Note 4, fantastic device, fantastic result. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.